having a show right now at um, Deluge Contemporary Art, and uh, it's on until October 3rd, and like you'll see on the website here, and also, um, I don't know if I said the title, Canadian Muscle is the title of the show. Basically, it's a... Uh, it's all lead pencil drawings um, of our Canadian manufactured history. So I've tried to get a spectrum of what we used to make here in Canada across uh, from coast to coast. And um, I just wanted to underline um, our history basically of how industrious we were with making our own products and not relying on um, foreign goods imported from overseas or even our neighbors down to the south and um, as you'll see if you go to the show there's uh, a bunch of drawings there and most of the drawings have a lot to do with our do it do it ourselves mentality a lot of tools um, a lot of products that used to be made here for building other things um, so it's it's interesting because they're different pieces of creativity you've got the graphic design element on each each product and um, that's that's an art in itself that you can look at and then you can look at what's what it's actually advertising things like pot menders to fix your pots um, pencils a few food items and um, like I said before, tools, obviously the Robertson screw, which is a huge one, huge piece of Canadian industry and history. And um, yeah, there's an undercurrent to the show where I'm trying to get at the, the roots of an issue that's come up uh, in topic and conversation today, which is um, being green. And so you want to support um, people that you know who are in industries that you want to see thrive. So we've got uh, local farming, which has taken off, and a lot of people supporting that kind of thing. And um, also we got local craftsmen who people seek out for their furniture or reupholstering an old couch. Um, custom tailors in town. All these things still exist and part of the show is that I'm trying to get reach a point where you're inspired to um, support these craftsmen on a local level. So underlying the project all the drawings are created on American paper and they're created with foreign pencils from China and Czechoslovakia, some weird ones I found uh, from all over the world. So basically when you go and see the show you're looking at old Canadian products we don't make anymore that have been created with foreign lead and graphite on American paper. And that's basically the uh, underlying issue where uh, I want people to think about that. So hopefully it does that. And that's, uh, that's the show. The rest is up to you, obviously. It's the viewer's job. Yeah.